always have my exact map. So for their relationship with the media. Could you ask your question last week after you concluded the media book? Um, you've been telling us that you should trust the process of the call campaign. Um, it seems that the revenge mission is on course because almost it seems that you defeated what's called last season. You started beating them gradually. Are we there yet? Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> we have, um, I think, 19 more games to go. Yeah. Is it 20? Yeah. yeah, two plus, I think, three more. We have an outstanding game, so we have 20 more games. If we put the competition together, that's 60 points. We have 30 already. So, assuming we do score 60 points, we can't go the third trophy. If we are not there, we need to still stay the course, make sure that we work hard, become confident in the process, make sure that our strength will keep repeating those training drills to make it instinctive uh, in the players to make sure that our weaknesses to be worked on our weaknesses. We need to become better game by game. And that's what I think we need to work on. As for the trophy, uh, we can think we have won it. Thinking we won a trophy and getting the trophy are two different things. Seeing a trophy and getting the trophy are two different things. So it's too early for me to conclude that it's a landing. So could at what stage can we now say that Koroko is the The 34th league game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the coach. Okay, uh, coach, the frame of the which is very me as Last season, uh, coach and worker, I share home and away over far. And uh, also, I share a few four points with the home. In the day, now we are here with the two winning season. I think we fought very hard on the field of play. We showed determination, we showed confidence in the targets, we showed a sense of focus. Tactically, I think we did very well. We were able to dominate a greater part of the game, create a lot of chances. I think we should have more than two goals. We yeah. saw so what happened. I think it's as a result of determination, hard work. That is why we were able to get the things done right. And I want to to, to actually praise uh, uh, or acknowledge the, the, the discipline of the team. I think they are obedient and they are listening. And I think that is the key to the success today. Okay. Um, Mr. Coach, my name is Michael. I'm a coach of Um You saw this media conference from the Ghana coaches in the past few days. And, um, Today you gave us an agent. What did you do? How did you get to know about the person? Yeah, um, um, it's all about communication, making sure that uh, the things that he, he does right, um, letting him know those things, his weaknesses to letting him know the weaknesses, and making sure that I acknowledge him most of the time. In fact, when he's a young child, I, I, I call him and I get it done because, because he's very young and he needs to be communicated. That's one aspect of it. Apart from that, too, I regulate his training program so that he'll be able to use his energy very well in the field of play. Okay. Coach, any comments? Coach, uh, after the game, about three or four minutes conversation between you and Augustine, I was so interested. I want just want to know what actually was going on between you. I, I told him he's a super player and he can be better than what he's doing. I told him. It is protocol, and he shouldn't let. I mean, the, the compliments from the fans, from the supporters, eat into him. Once he does that, he will lose his focus. Therefore, he, he, he needs to stay disciplined. He, he needs to stay focused and make sure that he becomes as obedient and as humble as I've always seen him to be. And we are growing that. Latif, as you radio coach, uh, you attest to the fact that your performance last week was much better than today. As much as you won by two goals today, last week you won by one zero. Is it the approach to the game that brought about a dip in performance of Nasia Sati? Or what resulted in that? I think when when expectations are so high, sometimes some of these things uh, happen. I think uh, everybody, including yourself, you have profession. Expecting a, a repetitive performance or far game of the time. And sometimes when expectations are so high, you can't satisfy people. But when there are no expectations, you can satisfy people. I think because of the expectation, that's why you see this game. To be comparatively on a lower arena than that of. But it is a 
very and the fat is also good. Last week, and the room again, we said and raising our crop and allow the plants to be the integral part of those crops. What are you doing? I mean, today was 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 a good day actually. I think it did well. I mean, uh, I think because most people know him to be to be an excellent player previously. I mean, uh, if you look at his pedigree, he's been able to live up to the bell previously, and people are trying to measure him with that performance. And I think he's not yet there. That is why most of the time I think the plants are always going on. And he has a lot of followers. He has a lot of followers. So his followers trust and believe in him. And his followers know that he can do better than what he's doing. That's why most of the time when he commits those petty petty errors, they are always of him. He expect that that his pedigree he shouldn't come in themselves. That's why I'm always <coughs> Coach, um, anyone who has looked at uh, your training ground always see that you hold a performance in your squad. Last time, um, I saw Omar Conan look quite happy when he, or when the, the squad was in the ground. How do you motivate the players, those who are left behind? How do you motivate them? Last time, when? <laughs> if I was, I was, I was at the training ground. I, I saw how I was doing to me now at the training. And then I, I where, were you, where were you standing? Uh, <laughs> where, where, where was I standing? Uh -huh. uh, and you saw his body language that he was Of course, I know him. I know him now from the good food. Gentlemen, let me tell you a story. We are searching a story. Don't make any story. Yes, no, I'm not making a story. Everybody is happy every time we announce a team squad. Everybody in protocol under my tutelage is happy. I explain to players why you are selected and why you are not selected. Okay. Let me tell you that the way you even announce it, this team, the team, you do not give up to three seconds for you to announce the team. So I know what you are talking about. And I mean three seconds, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> now, thank you very much. Now let's move to the top. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.